Crowning the Spanish brand's popular family hatchback range are two new high-performance derivatives, Seat Leon Cupra and Cupra 280. Both versions are powered by a 2.0-litre turbocharged petrol engine designed to rev highly with a sporty exhaust maximizing the oral spectacle. Developing 350 newton meters of torque from just 1,750 revolutions per minute, the Cupra promises to be a flexible performer. There are three body styles to choose from, as from spring 2015 the ST Cupra Estate joined both the three-door SC and five-door hatchbacks, all with an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour improved performance kick-starting the range is the 261 bhp Cupra only available with a six-speed manual gearbox and the three-door body. Its dash to 62 miles per hour takes just 5.9 seconds. Opt for the more powerful 276 bhp Cupra 280 the number comes from its power figure quoted in PS, and you have a choice of three and five-door forms, as well as the street all available with six-speed manual or DSG automatic gearboxes. The manual versions reach 62 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds, the automatics 0.1 seconds quicker still. Visual makeover the seat Leon's sporty looks are amplified in Cupra guise. Larger front air intakes in the bumper complement the full LED headlamps while at the rear a deeper skirt and twin oval exhaust pipes give it a purposeful stance. Unique 18-inch alloy wheels are fitted to the Cupra with red brake calipers visible through them. Inside there's a special Cupra steering wheel, dark grey Alcantara trimmed sports seats and aluminium pedals and door sill finishes. Opt for the more powerful Cupra 280 and highlights include a different design of 19-inch alloy wheels, gloss black exterior trim and a rear roof spoiler. Inside the Cupra 280 also benefits from standard sat-nav. Sporting changes Significant changes have been made to make the seat Leon Cupra an enthusiast satisfying sports hatchback and estate. A mechanical differential lock can send up to 100% of the power to either of the front wheels when needed but its main brief is to improve traction and cornering agility. A sharp and steering response further aids the experience. In addition to comfort and sport modes for the chassis, drivers can also select Cupra mode, turning the wick upon all the car's responses. Thrill seekers will be pleased to know the electronic stability systems can be switched completely off if desired. Affordable running costs despite the performance seat claims all models of Leon Cupras will return over 42 miles per gallon and emit less than 157 gkm of CO2. All Cupras feature stop-start and energy recovery systems to further reduce the thirst for petrol. Read on for the full Parker's Seat Leon Cupra review and Seat Leon Cupra 280 review and find out how good this performance hatchback and estate is. Performance, there's no diesel engine to choose here and both petrol models produce within 20 bhp of each other so Seat Leon Cupra performance is much the same regardless which model you opt for. No matter, whichever you choose you'll happily class them as properly quick. Leon Cupra supposedly 15 bhp down on its bigger brother, but thanks to a matched peak torque of 350 newton meters all the way from 1750 to 5300 revolutions per minute you'll never notice on the road. In fact even driving them back to back you'd struggle to tell a debadged pair apart, but then the 265 doesn't sound so cool for pub bragging. Still. That wall of torque means power is available from the off, and no matter what gear you have selected forward motion is properly in your face, in fact few hot hatches feel quicker than either of these pair the 265 is only available with the manual gearbox, and only in 3 door SC form 2, if you want 5 doors, an estate body or a gearbox that changes ratios itself then a more powerful 280 is your only option. 
we suspect that while a 265 is just as good, the extra equipment and power and bragging rights of the latter will ensure it proves the most popular in the UK. That six-speed manual gearbox is easy enough to use but strangely short geared in six, 70 miles per hour is only just under 3000 revolutions per minute while a 180 bhp fr model sit at a far more palatable and efficient 2450 revolutions per minute at the same speed leon cupra 280 essentially the same engine as in the regular cupra but with a volume knob turned up past 11 the 280 signifies this model deploys an extra 15 bhp over its brother. For those looking to hold their own down the pub this is an important detail, but in the real world it matters not. On paper the 280 will sprint from 06 to miles per hour one tenth of a second quicker two tenths if it has DSG fitted than the 265 manual car. ST estates are three tenths of a second slower than the five door hatch counterparts. The DSG box is well suited to the car, though it only has six speeds and suffers from the same problem in this respect as a six speed manual. A seventh gear or longer final drive would improve matters for cruising. Still, it shifts smoothly and quickly and only the disappointing plastic paddles behind the steering wheel let the experience down. Handling, it's uncanny just how much grip the seat Leon Cupra has, you'd be forgiven for wondering whether there was some drive being sent across the rear axle such as the level of composure and balance. It's wholly front wheel drive though, and if 276 bhp sounds a lot to be pushed through the front wheels you'd be right but with the mechanical differential fitted as standard as little telltale scrabbling from the front trubber. In fact there's little tugging or pulling of the wheel while the system does its work either. You have to drive the Leon Cupra or Cupra 280 like a proper hooligan to get any whiff of misbehavior from the front wheels, and speeds would be unsuitable for crowded UK roads so you'll never likely notice. It doesn't feel quite as precise or handle as sharp as a Renault Sport Megane, the Leon's more bludgeoned blunt than scalpel sharp, but overall it feels more stable. You can get on the power while cornering far earlier than you would have imagined too, the old racing adage of slow in fast out seems barely relevant in this case. The adaptive chassis, known as DCC dynamic chassis control is standard across the whole range and manages to mix comfort with control perfectly. Thanks to a rear anti-roll bar that is 1mm thicker than that found on the Sport EFR version there's slightly greater resistance to roll, and of course like other models with more than 148 bhp the Cupra benefits from the more sophisticated multi-link rear suspension. The result is a sure-footed and composed chassis that takes it right to the top of the Hoth hatch class. Progressive steering is quicker to react to the driver's inputs as well. Adjusting from 1.4 turns lock to lock down to 1.1 turns during quicker cornering. It's no Porsche when it comes to real time feedback and feel, but for a front wheel drive Hoth hatch, there's plenty of information filtering through and the waiting, even in heaviest setting Cupra mode, is well judged. Equipment There's only two models to choose from here the standard Leon Cupra and the more powerful Leon Cupra 280. The latter has more power and more equipment, but even the standard model doesn't skimp on features. Standard seat Leon Cupra equipment All models of Leon Cupra come with DAB radio, automatic LED headlights and exclusive Cupra body styling for the bumpers. The larger brakes have red calipers and the rear of the car sports dual oval chrome exhaust pipes. Inside there's a set of seats finished in Alcantara and leatherette. Full LED illumination for the ambient lighting, automatic dimming rear view mirror and rain sensing wipers. Underneath all benefit from an adaptive chassis control DCC which alters the damper's reactions to the road underneath and can be individually set by the driver. By far the biggest influence to the way the car drives is the mechanical differential on the front axle which can apportion up to 100% of the power to an individual wheel if required.
though in reality simply reduces unwanted wheel spin when cornering making the Leon Cooper more agile neither of the Coopers currently benefits from the free tech pack as found on all other Leons in the current range but while the Cooper 280 makes up for this with its sled lights and sat nav the 265 does without the latter and is the only Leon for sale in the UK that does so it seems strange to us and we wouldn't be surprised if that changes as time goes on. For now though unless you are a fan of your Tom Tom, it's almost reason enough to buy the £1,250 more expensive Cupra 280 model. On top of that the Cupra 280 adds 19 inch wheels rather than the 18 inch rims of the standard car, black door mirror caps exterior mouldings and interior panels as well as a rear roof spoiler. The red brake calipers gain Cupra logos too. Optional seat Leon Cupra accessories as mentioned on the standard Leon Cupra you'd be wise to add the excellent Satnuff system which integrates neatly into the cabin, but apart from that both these cars are so well kitted out as standard there is little to add to the equation. Still, from July 2014 delivery in the UK the sports bucket seats become available and are highly recommended for the extra support they offer without any penalising of comfort. Comfort, it has to be said that previous generations of this car struggled, but the new seat Leon Cupra comfort levels are properly impressive. That's mainly down to the sophistication of the base chassis, as found in the regular Leon. Leon SC and Leon Street it benefits, as do all Leons, with more than 148 bhp, from the multi-link rear axle which makes for more precise cornering and bump absorption at the rear. But what really makes the difference, despite the stiffer springs and increased rear anti-roll bar diameter, is a standard adaptive chassis control DCC. Regardless of whether you're driving a Cupra 18-inch wheels or Cupra 280 19-inch rims there's no brittleness or jolting through the cabin like there would have been in previous models. In default comfort mode it's especially impressive but, even in Cupra or sport modes where the dampers are firmed up further, the ride comfort remains impressive. Currently the Cupra is only offered with the standard sports seat, as seen in the FR versions with subtle bolsters but neat detailing and immaculate trimming in leather and alcantara. From July 2014 deliveries though the UK will have the option of more heavily bolstered bucket seats. There's no reduction in comfort but a massive increase in support, and we'd wholeheartedly recommend them, they'll make the car more desirable come resale time too. On the cars we drove, and we've seen this on other Leon models too, there was a fraction too much wind noise but on the whole the cabin is refined and quiet, even with a sound generator enhancing the noise that makes its way through from the engine bay. The exhaust drone can become tiring at motorway speeds while in Cooper mode, but a press of a button allays this problem. Practicality, both are based on the standard car so seat Leon Cooper practicality is surprisingly good. Sharing exterior and interior dimensions with the regular SC, 5 door Hattishback and Dusty Estates models. The former has a slightly shorter wheelbase and the sleeker exterior means rear space isn't as abundant as its bigger brothers, but it's still perfectly acceptable for four adults. However for those regularly using the rear bench it's the 5 door versions that makes the most sense on account of their easier entry and exit. Regardless of which hatchback body style you choose the boot space stays the same, both offering a useful 380 litres of space with the seats in place, the SD outguns them at 587 litres. All cars come with split folding rear seats should you need to increase that capacity or carry longer loads. Inside the cabin the doors have decent sized pockets but the glove box is frustratingly shallow and the undram storage in the center console isn't big enough to be of any real use either. Interestingly the lidded cubby in front of the gear lever, which so often fail to spring open on early liens, is no lid free. Safety, a full 5 stars for your own cap testing based on the standard model means seat Leon Cupra safety is as good as it gets. 
that's down to the car's plethora of airbags, including a knee airbag for the driver, and its advanced safety systems. The stability system has been specially tuned for the Cupra model, and the Cupra Drive profile allows for a two-stage traction and ESP system with a final option for all intervention to be removed. All Cupra models are delivered with full LED headlamps for better vision at night thanks to their daylight imitating output, and will even alter their beam pattern after driving at speeds of 68 miles per hour or more for at least 30 seconds to improve illumination at motorway speeds. There's also multi-collision assist fitted as standard which applies the brakes after a primary impact to lessen the chance of then rolling into other traffic or objects and causing more damage. You'll need to pay extra for the Adaptive Cruise Control ACC which is an adaptive cruise control that will maintain a set gap between you and the car in front without any pedal intervention from yourself. The same applies for the front assist which will warn drivers and if needs be brake the car to a stop if it detects an unexpected obstacle at city speeds. Reliability, the firm's new favorite tagline reads we are Spanish and German so thanks to parent company VW, seat Leon Cooper reliability should be top notch. Certainly there's little questioning the shut lines or fit and finish of this car, inside and out. Despite the high power output the engine's a proven entity as well, used throughout the whole VW Group range in various states of tune, and feels entirely robust in use. We'd question how long the white trim in the interior seat bolsters and door card sections will remain clean and bright, although the rest of the cabin is standard Leon and should last fine. Interestingly the flap in front of the gear lever, which often fail to spring open on early cars, has been removed on the Cupra models, presumably for reliability issues.